This whole week they didn't play us. Well, that's this whole week one they didn't song. play us. No one boycotted you. Sorry. Yes, that one did. That is not a boycott. How? How is it not because a boycott? They a... haven't been playing. Shut up and sing. The Barbara Koppel documentary chronicling the Dixie Chicks' three-year tour from the United States to London in support of their Taking the Long Way CD in the eye of singer Natalie Maine's Bush bashing backlash had its New York premiere. Natalie recalls what it is she said that sent tremors throughout right-wing America. The real statement that I made, which I didn't even remember until I saw the film, was just so you know, we're on the good side with y'all, we don't want this war or this violence, and we're, afraid, and we're ashamed the President of the United States is from Texas. But what everyone thinks I said is just so you know, we're ashamed the President of the United States is from Texas. The question often asked is whether artists should be allowed to use their celebrity to voice their politics. Barbara Streisand is basking in her anti-Bush tirades at her concerts and believes artists exist to disturb. Dixie chick Marty McGuire weighs in on Babs' philosophy. I, think a, I mean, I think a lot of people in the public eye feel afraid to be honest all the time. You know, they stick you in media training from the time you get signed to a record label. And we always kind of bucked that system a little bit and thought our fans would relate to us better if we were honest. And it got us in a lot of trouble, but we still believe that those people do want us to be who we are. And freedom of speech is for everybody, not just people who agree. Shut Up and Sing shows how the now famous anti-Bush comment got the chicks banned from the radio. Protests were carried out, destroying their CDs in mass quantities. Even death threats were issued. Rather than living in fear for themselves and their families, they persevered. Natalie, who has a son with hero star Adrian Pazdar, feared more for humanity. I, it's hard for me to remember if I felt afraid because at that stage I was just so... We, the battle was about so much more of just free speech and if, if anything I just really questioned what I brought my son into as far as humanity. Really, I know that sounds dramatic, but it really was like that. We were untouchable because we questioned the president, and that, that's just crazy, 2003. Scary. In spite of the negativity surrounding the Dixie Chicks while they were singing out their beliefs, the documentary gives a positive backstage outlook from songwriting in the studio to performing in the arenas for sold-out crowds who didn't boo them off the stage. Shut Up and Sing opens Friday in theaters. Feel frustration. The frustration I feel as an American citizen for being ignored.